All right. How's it going, everybody? Let me get this pulled up really quick. That's kind of loud. Please don't do that. Should be right here. Awesome. Great. Nailed it. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody, for this throwback Thursday? I have my coffee. And we are ready to get started. Before we do, my name's Wally. This is Wally Scoop. If you're watching on YouTube, really, really appreciate it. Please follow me. Join the Discord with the link in the description. Greatest, greatest, greatest bunch of nerds on this dying planet. They're awesome. Over 60 people in there. You guys are so great. My Discord is blowing up, and I really, really appreciate it. Let's try that same energy with the YouTube and the Twitch. So, um, <clears throat> really, really appreciate it. All the help. It really really validates me you know now with that being said hold on all right that was weird um now with that being said as always i do have to give a shout out to cat mint tavern c-a-t-m-i-n-t -E tavern on twitch great person great personality always makes you laugh she streams a bunch of different games it takes two D, D. she did the logo for my discord and my youtube so if you do join that discord and you do like the logo go ahead give her a shout out just say hey logo looks great it's awesome because it really does really 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 love the logo now with that being said we're doing the witcher it's the hellhound fight and i've been doing some research on it and apparently i'm never gonna beat this but we're still gonna try um because all the research says this is the hardest boss fight in the game and you need the Ardney sign all the way up to beat it and i never used the Ardney sign in the witcher 3 which is the only witcher i ever played i used the igni sign a lot and the hex sign because you know you have to to like trap the banshees but either way i never used the the rd side that much in the witcher 3 so i was like oh that's pointless i just want to burn stuff so i got that all the way up doesn't affect the hellhound the only thing that does is there's a really, really small chance that you can stun the Hellhound. And apparently that's the only way to beat it. So here we are. Uh, quick recap. <clears throat> In episode one, the only thing that happened was it's just like any other RPG. It sets up a foundation for what's happening. Uh, you are playing Geralt who has lost his memories. Nobody knows how he lost his memories. And you just go to Kaer Morhen. And you meet Trish. You're having a grand old time but the next thing you know uh these bandits show up you know they have a boss monster they have an assassin a really powerful mage and they steal they take our stuff they take the witcher formula and then they scatter across the world so then in episode two uh, we go to a place that is literally called a town outside of azima because <laughs> we are looking for some of them uh we have split up. Trish goes one way. Uh, the Witchers go another way. But you, Geralt, who is, I mean, in fact, a Witcher, but you're a special Witcher. You go to a different place. So you arrive on the outskirts of Azima, and these bar guests are, are attacking. And these bar guests are like supernatural baby hellhounds. And you save a boy, but the mother dies, and the boy has this, like, freak-out vision. You don't know what's going on. Uh, you start doing some research. Well, what actually happened was I fumbled around the game a bunch and I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on because I had no idea. Uh, but then, you know, I figured it out and uh, it took a whole episode probably to. Um, but you then start picking up uh, side quests like you do in all RPGs. So uh, that's what I tried to do. But I was like, you know what? They say I need to go talk to the Reverend, who is a person who owns this little area, makes all the decisions for this little area. So that's exactly what I do. I go talk to the Reverend. I found out that another Witcher came here. And uh, this is in episode three. I find out that another Witcher comes here. And if I want any information regarding the Hellhound, or if I want any information regarding the Witcher or the Salamanders, Salamandras, then I have to help him with the Hellhound. And he says, there's only one way to do this, that the Witch abigail is responsible and i need to go light these fires that they have spread around 
and you're a witcher and you're like no that's not how hellhounds work but he's like no i'm a reverend i know so you're like okay i'll go do it just pay me so you do uh or i do i went lit all the stuff talked to abigail abigail says no 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 i didn't summon this hellhound that's not what happened but if you go get these ingredients then i can make the boy have another vision he can help us out so that's what we do then we go back to the reverend in episode or actually yeah in episode three we go back to the reverend and we're like hey look man this is not what you're saying is actually happening things are definitely picking up quick the reverend's like okay <clears throat> i understand but you got to get the town on your side so you got to help out the merchant uh, uh city guard and and me uh so we we kind of went over the extra step and we already helped him out the merchant is a drunk but go help him out you fight some vines that uh we kind of stumbled upon it like episode two on accident in a cave it was definitely not on purpose uh, we almost died to him but when we fight him again you know we leveled up and pretty easy so then we help him then we go got to deal with uh then we have to deal with the drowners for the uh yes the merchant what's the other one like a trade person anyways you fight some drowners for this like trade person who i also think is a merchant but i guess not he just owns a shop i guess it's really popular uh like a general store <laughs> um but you have to fight some drowners for him which is totally fine you go and we we do that and then we go to the city guard and they're like oh there's ghouls in the crypt so we go and we do that and we finally beat this side mission of getting all the blood for the ghouls that we need and then after that happens uh we're ready to fight the hellhound we learned that actually the hellhound is here because of the sins of men that the merchant actually killed his brother in his sleep uh supposedly and that the the guy who owns the store is actually selling stuff to the scoldles which is uh, if you don't know anything about them they pop up in other witcher games as well but they're like these uh band of non-humans that are pretty violent but you know only when they need to be and so you make a decision on selling him out or not selling him out i chose not to but then you realize that abigail is actually responsible for this or could actually be responsible for this that that she her hands are not clean either that she was using these people's fears uh to gain a profit selling them things she knew what was going to happen like with the merchant she she sold um he sold a couple items to the merchant to help him kill his brother she knew about skulls uh so she's actually kind of responsible but uh the reverend you find out is actually selling kids so you have to make a decision on if the people of the town are i guess the most evil or if abigail is the most evil and i chose that the people of the town because you don't you don't i don't like dealing with the you don't sell kids so here we are then the hellhound comes out and that's what we do uh now with that being said this is the hardest this is the hardest one uh, according to reddit and a bunch of other places that i've looked uh this is the hardest mission in the game so what i'm going to do i'm i'm going to skip all this don't worry so what i'm going to do i'm only going to try this three times today and if i don't beat it in three times i'm going to load it off screen and I'm going to do the recommendations of... We already watched all this. Burn the devil's See, mistress. this is the merchant guy. The there's the actual merchant. Pain. The then, witch hides within. There's the reverend. Let the eternal fire consume her the, sinful body. I don't know where we'll the city guard the is. But anyways, Not we're going to so skip fast. this. She must... That she so, I came across. I this is where you learn everything I just went over. So, we're not going to go over it. But, um... But... Again... If I don't beat it in three turns, I'm going to load it off screen and I'm going to go through and I'm going to beat all the missions again off screen again. And then I'll come back to this with a new build. You've done uh, so, yeah. See, you trade with bandits who kidnap children. That's the Skulltals. Um, you trade. Have you made your... What do you think? Oh, he's the... He's like the town... Uh, like, bank is who he is. Uh, and then this is talking about the city guard. And then this is Shut up, you, you. talking I'm getting... about the reverend who's like, hey, you're Since doing all the this beginning dumb of stuff. time, woman has been the nest. All right, here we go. Pause. We have to pause because so this is what happens here. This hellhound summons Bargess, 
The Hellhound can stun you, so you have to stay away from the Hellhound. That's what we noticed. But if you stay away from the Hellhound, then you can't hit him. So uh, we are going to change to the Igni sign because it does work on the bar guest. Abigail will heal you. So what I am going to try to do is keep Abigail alive this time so that while I am bouncing around dodging the bar guest, I will be getting healed some so that I don't die to the beast. Um, and that is the plan. Ah, shit, he got me with the stun. Pull up my inventory here. Definitely want to take a swallow here. So he got me there with the stun. I mean, with the stun again, so I gotta get up out of here. Abigail is not healing me. Abigail is dead. So that is the worst thing that could possibly fucking happen. I should. Yeah, so I am regenerating with the swallow here. Uh, I don't know if the Igni sign actually works. I will die if I get stunned right now, so... God damn it. Trying to like get something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If I eat, it takes a long time, so I have to be careful with that. Um. So I kinda will just do this. Ah, come on, bro. Ah, he got me. I'm dead. Come on, come on, come on. Abigail being dead is rough. I know this is not a fun fight to watch, but this is what you get. Again, if I get stunned, I'm really close to dead, so I can't make any headway right now on any of these bastards. Snap. I don't have anything ready. Good try, beast. Good try. So you kind of want Beast to not be here. So 
Or he got me on the stun, but I think I got him. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Helping that whore was your last mistake! Die, bloody mutant! I have enough strength for the two of you. Odo, grab the pitchfork! That's the reason why I like Igni. I don't know why it's not attacking. So I guess Abigail dies either way. Alright, cool. Sad. Oh, nope. There's Abigail. Oh, I can't take anything else. Do have lots of money though. All right, what is this? Silver ruby. Nice. I like that. I wish I could. How do you give stuff? Like, can I give? Like, I would just give these things to Abigail strictly. Like, not because she deserves them, but literally just because I don't have any room. Or, I think, I know I dropped all of my books. So, it says I've already read this, so can I drop it? If I've already read it, I don't want it. Thank you, Geralt. I owe you my life. That was awesome. I'll gather my belongings and I came in this thing channel. like, ah, I'm not going to be able to make it. Uh, tutorials. Let's see if it says, like, giving. Okay, gifts. Yeah, but how do you give them gifts? So like, pull up my inventory, it says, maybe I have to, yeah, I don't know really. I know that I don't care about the skulls, but I do want everything else that I can take here. Uh, from what I was looking at, it said your inventory should be full when you leave here with uh, alchemic ingredients. Oh, that was nice, baby. The game literally said we weren't going to be able to beat it without the full leveled up sign. So, pretty, pretty happy. Did not expect that to happen in the slightest. Feel like I am awesome. Just a skull left on him. Nope, I'll take that. All right, I don't know. That should be enough. Let's just keep going. There's the permit and the orange stone hammer. Ah, oh, baby. Geralt, what would have happened to me without your aid? I'm glad you found it in yourself to believe me. I 
This is what I was saying. I chose the lesser evil. I chose the lesser evil. I'm sorry you think so. Farewell. Back to the end, huh? I don't know where that is, actually, let me. Oh, that was tough, tough, tough. Yeah, so we are going to turn around. Turn around. That was insane. Oh, I also forgot we uh, we found the salamanders hideout. We had to kill them too. I say we. I did. But you guys were here with me, so I really, really appreciate it. And I would really like to go to Abigail's hut. You think she's at her home? Like, you think if I go there, I could sell my, my stuff? Like, where is it? It's here, right? No, 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 no. It's here. I'm trying to go to her home before before going to the inn and see if I could sell some stuff. Like, I don't need it, but any book that she has, I'll pretty much... What the hell? Are you kidding me right now? Step back. Outside your mind. Let's see if, like, it's here. Because if I can, I'll give her stuff just to get it out of my inventory. I might just sell it. She's here. I'll gather my belongings and leave this damnable town. Thanks again. Damn. Won't let me sell. All right, whatever. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. It was the only place I could sell, like, alcha uh, alchemaic stuff. But I know I'll be able to sell it in Vizima, too. Look at me. I was preparing for the worst. I was like, ah, I'm only going to give this three tries, and then I'll hop off. And then I freaking did it. Woohoo! That was so great. I didn't think I was going to win. Abigail died. Made me feel bad. I was knocked out or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yeah, Reddit said it was the hardest. Uh, Reddit said it was the hardest fight. Uh, like the Witcher official wiki or whatever has it as one of the hardest fights in the game. Saying that you need the Ardney sign all like leveled all the way up. Wait, can I rest? God, this game's really just saying like, hey bro, you gotta go here. Geralt, are you alright? I was so worried. I'm fine. I'll tell you what happened on the way to the Zima. I'm done with this village. So am I. I hope I never return. It's unfathomable how many criminals live here. These are hardly pleasant times, Geralt. The plague, impending wars. Still, I'm astounded. Do you know how the beast came to be? No. They unknowingly created it with their misdeeds. A powerful sorcerer couldn't have matched it. And all they needed was hatred, baseness, and greed. It sounds like a fairy tale. Every tale contains a grain of truth. Let's go. Vizima awaits. Come. I don't... I'm going to see how I can give... Give items. I'm probably just going to sell them, to be honest. But in most RPGs, you don't need money. 
I mean, you need it at first, and then you're like, oh, guess what? I don't need, I don't need money anymore. But there was a side quest here, and the dude's not here. So that kind of makes me sad, too. Because it says you can get three forms of meteorite. So I I think I left the meteorite. Or um, not left, but I think I... School better not be here. But I think I... Uh, I think I did. I won't be able to do that quest, which makes me kind of sad. We have to go to the city guard. Am I even going the right way? I just started going where she was going. Yeah, kind of going the right way, I guess. All these dead people. I don't remember. Did I, I didn't kill these people. How did they die? The beast? Did I kill them? What the heck was that? Oh. A lot of dead stuff over here. I didn't do this. guess the town did but he also said that he was getting moved oh yeah but that was the next day so the city guard said he wasn't gonna be here the next day but now he is oh no no it is true he said hey I'm gonna be moved to the main area that's pretty cool that's pretty cool so the the guard wasn't here Mikhail, he was not here when we first talked to him. He was at a different location. But then he tells you he's going to get moved to the main gate. So that's kind of cool how they, like... I mean, it's really simple, but they covered up the plot point like that. So I think that's, you know, I think that's pretty dope. Oh, no. I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied. I guess I'm going to have to fight the city guard now. I see fires. Yep. I lied. I thought it was going to be cool because he said he was getting moved, but I guess he wasn't. Vizima lies beyond this gate. I hope we never return here. Me too. The beast is dead. The salamanders are dead. And the peasants. Hmm. I have a pass. Mikkel should let us enter. Let's go. I thought his name was Miguel. Mikkel. It's not going to happen, though. Hmm. Mikkel, I need to enter the city. I have a pass. I wanted to say I was sorry. I apologize, Witcher. Apologize to Ilsa, Mikkel. I really wanted to fight him. I see no reason to not fight him. Looks like I'm about to. Sergeant, that Witcher's here. The one I told you about. Great. Oh, uh, no. Who do we have here, Mikkel? Is this the man we want? Yes, sure, Sergeant, sure. It's that filthy freak, the Witcher. A blasphemer and a counterfeiter, do I guess well? Yes, he asked who's allowed into the city. Then came with that, uh, that letter of safe conduct from the Order. Well, if that's a knight of the Order, then I'm Princess Ada. Son of a bitch. Good. What? No, I want to fight. Don't arrest me. I want to fight. I hate all of you so much. I could have killed them. I hate all of you. You set somebody on fire in metal armor? They're dead. Hey, let me out of here. I'm innocent. Those five pounds of fish tech were for personal use. Hey, you, jailer. At least move me. I don't want to be with the politicals. Politics makes you rot. I'm a decent thief. Let me out. Shut your trap. I'm busy. Jethro, keep it down. You looking to kill me? That thief's bugging me. Thief, right. And I'm here with the politicals. Scandalous. I said shut up. 
Stop screaming or on my mother's life I'll bloody smash your junky mouth. Absa fucking lootly beautiful. What's your problem, Whitey? You wanna dance to the semen? Come on, I wanna see your hands in the air. Jethro, open the cell. Ooh, scared. Soft as butter. Come on, Whitey, what you got? Back off. What, you wanna fight or not? Professor. Move it. You're free. How ironic. Our paths cross again. So near and yet so far. Fear not, Witcher. We'll meet again. I assure you. You're making a mistake. This man's a murderer. You fail to grasp the basic rules governing this world. You're a genetically modified murderer with no place in modern society. But we'll tend to that problem next time. Farewell. The professor is one of the ones who helped steal I can't the wait. formula. Alright, I think for the most part, this is where we are going to end it. This is it. We are going to save and we are going to be done for today. So, we did it. It took me one try, which is pretty great, actually. As always, thank you guys for watching. When you come back, I think it will be episode six. We will just jump right in. We will get right to Vizima. I only wanted to do the Hellhound today. I thought it was going to take so much longer than it actually did, but I really appreciate you guys. Appreciate all the support. That was a hell on fight. We're gonna keep it short. Hardest boss in the game, according to Reddit, according to the main Witcher wiki. So, uh, and it was even told <clears throat> that without the Arnie sign, you need to restart, go back, and do the Arnie sign. That it would actually be easier. But here we are. I didn't do that, and I did it. As always, Cat Mid Tavern. Thank you so much for doing my Discord logo, my YouTube logo. I really, really, really appreciate that. You guys go follow her on Twitch. She streams a lot of games. And if you're watching on YouTube, please, please, please hit that subscribe button and just slam that Discord link in the description below. Join the best bunch of nerds on this dying planet. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you all. And have a good night. Don't look. Bad production value. Don't look. Uh... No, don't look.